Okay. Roseanne Kelly, Women in Business. What is Women in Business? Women in Business is a business networking organization, the same as any other. It just happens to be for women. Uh, we have over a thousand members uh, in Northern Ireland throughout uh, the area. And we run networking events uh, for our business women. We have about five to six every month. I am in Belfast, Newry, Coleraine, mm. Mid-Ulster, that kind of area. And this is a place of no glass ceilings. Mm. You can flower and be as strong and powerful and as successful as you're able to be. Yes, absolutely. Um, I mean, what we're about is about supporting and encouraging women to, to reach their full potential. Um, and I suppose one of the key things is that um, it would have been known that there were barriers there for women within, within business in terms of confidence. But one of the key areas that had been highlighted by a GEM report was that they had no um, networks mm -hmm. and were not as connected. And obviously in business it is all about your connections mm -hmm. and, and that network that you have. So um, what we do is we facilitate the networking through our events. Um, and then within that, there's quite a lot of peer learning would happen. We would have inspirational speakers who will in inspire, and we will have experts in their field mm. um, and that kind of mm. thing. How is the world, how healthy is the world of women's business in Northern Ireland? I know it's not women's business. You're in every business, but you're women in business. Uh, are women strong in business these days? Uh, I think um, we are getting stronger and I think uh, women who are starting their own businesses, well, they have that strength there anyway in that they have done it themselves and gone self-employed. Mm. So th th there isn't that glass ceiling there. So uh, we have a lot of um, strong leaders coming through. But there's st there still are a lot of barriers within the corporate area in terms of getting those women into leadership positions. Um, we have recently lost two uh, role models because role models is, is a key um, area that uh, helps to encourage women. So we, we had Catherine Mason, uh, head of TransLink, who's now moving on, who would have been a role model. Uh, Judith Gillespie, deputy chief police constable yeah. is, is going. So uh, although there's been a lot of kind of gains, um, it's still uh, quite fragile in terms of where women would be uh, in, in kind of leading leadership positions. But better than it was, say, oh, 10 years ago? Oh, yes, I think. And five is. years ago? It, you're, it's really moving up, is it? Okay, okay, it, it is. And I, and I think um, with uh, the years, the younger women coming through, um, you know, the, they don't see the, the, the barriers that are there and our, there's, um, I, su I suppose, a lot more um, ambition and I suppose the, the, the figures are showing us that coming out of university, there's a lot more uh, girls graduating than, than, than guys and, um, you know, with that, mm. careers paths have become mm. a, lo a lot more important. Yeah, and how, you, you know, what, in, in, in the kind of spread of work that's being done by your members, what are we covering? Engineering, medicine, law, law you tell me. Well, our, our membership is, is very diverse. Uh, we, have, um, we have corporates, we have public sector, we have self-employed, we have, um, the, the, we have the, the charity sector as well. So it's, it's right across. And uh, I mean, we had, um, our, our current chair is, is, is in leadership coaching. Our uh, past chair before that was, is business travel solutions, and the one before that was in roofing and, and yeah. roofing at, at you know, the MAC building, very, very large. Wow. She was the managing director in there. So it, it is very, very diverse. Um, mm. Now, obviously, there, there's a lack of women within um, you know, engineering and, mm. and STEM and technology, and um, that's something that uh, needs to be addressed. But, and there's yeah. work going on around that. Do you find that there is a a, a kind of inbuilt corporate and male bias against women. I don't. I, I don't. I think there's a lot of uh, cultural, uh, I suppose, baggage. I suppose mm. that that we have mm. there, but um, I, I would say probably there's a lack of awareness, maybe, of mm. uh, the barriers that are there. A lack of maybe understanding, but um, certainly um, now and over the last number of years, I think that is changing. And I think um, the the leaders at the top that are the um, more innovative 
are totally understanding that they need to have a diverse workforce and they need to have mm -hmm. a diverse right through to the top levels mm -hmm. because there's a lot of research out there now that says that um, if you have that diverse leadership, it impacts on the bottom line. Yeah. So I think the whatever bottom line bias is profitability. That was there, yes. Whatever bias there might have been mm. when it comes to the bottom line, everybody understands Absolutely. that. If you're in business, no matter whether you're a man or woman, they yeah, understand the bottom line. Let's, yeah. So it's it's improving, I think. You had a, a wonderful male role model today, yeah. Martin Nocton. Yeah. What did he tell you? What is his? What was his core message? If you take one message out of what Martin said to you today, what is it? Well, what he said was uh, profit, 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 and uh, you know, just going back to you know what I was saying about the bottom line. He, what he said was about you know turnover is vanity and mm. profit is is, is sanity. Um, he, That's interesting. Yeah. yeah, you can have all the turnover you want, but if you're not building the profit element into it, you're in trouble. It's absolutely. I mean, they have. Um, he, he was saying that uh, over the last ten years, they have. Um, paid for all of their own acquisitions themselves. Mm -hmm. They have um, a treasure trust so that if there is an acquisition they have an opportunity they will write the check themselves. So um, that was one of the things um, and uh, I suppose he was very much around uh, keeping focus on uh, what he said was that you know this, you need to look at the short term in order to deliver for the long term because it, this is where you're at now. So and also the, the other thing that he had said was um, all businesses, regardless of whether they, how big they are or whether they're banks or whatever, they all started small. As they, he did. As he did. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he owes no he, he owes no one anything. No. No. He's everything, as you say, a treasure chest. Yes, yes. Yeah. What business are you in yourself? Well, I'm the, the full-time full employee, employee yes, as, yeah. as chief executive of, of Women in Business, but my background would have been um, in, in marketing mm. and um, marketing consultant, and I was a, I was a marketing um, manager with Belmont Photographic Services many, many years ago. My goodness. That was one, that, one of the technologies. Belmont? Yes. That was on the on Donegal, uh, Donegal Road. Yes, in, in that's Bel right. Oh, you turned yeah. off in a little side street in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, now, when I joined it, it was out at, at Molusk. Um, I mean that's and and did a lot of, uh, a lot of those kind of free films and free oh, beach balls say. and yeah, all of that yeah, kind of yeah. so it was a, it was a nice time there but I mean I suppose that's one of those technologies that kind it's of gone. gone it's gone yeah. now indeed yeah. Yeah. and we all we all at the beginning said we will never go to digital it'll never replace film that's right wow how how wrong can I we know. be I know. you know yeah. yeah I remember working with uh, Kodak at the time and mm -hmm. and they had they they were obviously fighting yeah. hard against oh, it and ectochrome's gone yeah. Yeah, you you can still get uh, f uh, negative film mm -hmm. but if anyone wants it yeah mm -hmm. but uh, ectochrome the slides have gone completely they've stopped manufacturing those yeah goodness gracious I know but that that was my my background yeah. so uh, but I suppose with with women in business I got involved um when I had my own consultancy and I was on the board of uh, directors mm. um as as a volunteer so we're in our 11th year now mm. and um I mean I've always been very very passionate about it and um I uh, was asked by the board I suppose about 5 years ago to um do Two days a week yes. for three months. So it grew. Yes, it grew it and did, grew and grew. So, yeah. Are, are your women tough enough for the theatre they're operating in? Because I, I, I know of cases and I hear of cases uh, when, the, when push comes to shove and the woman's back's to the wall, she has an ultimate weapon that is sometimes used, maybe more often in the past than now, but the, uh, the resort to tears and to, oh, I'm, this is terrible. Uh, you're beyond all of that now, are women? Well, I don't know whether they're beyond all of that, but I suppose women, men and women are, are different and they show emotion in different ways. And I suppose, yes, women do tend to uh, show theirs with, with tears. Um, and sometimes that's better than the, the alternative with, 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 with men. But well, men perhaps cause tears, for well, goodness sake, which is a different, it's, not, it's, it's but, better to cry than to make people cry, maybe. But I think one of the things, you know, in terms of women being tough, women uh, need to be themselves in business. Anybody mm. in business need to be themselves mm. uh, because, you know, it's, it's, it's hard enough um, in, in business without trying to be somebody you're not. So uh, we have our theme um, for our international conference um, 
and our strategy is about creating a new economy. So it needs to be an environment that um, accommodates everybody and mm. everybody's uh, mm. styles. So therefore, you know, in terms of business being tough, well, perhaps business needs to uh, have a different kind of environment that in will, will encourage diversity, mm. which is what we want for the bottom line. And that diversity is important not only in business, it's important in politics and health and education to have that diversity. And I think with that, we will get a better uh, society for, for everybody. And the, the good thing is it seems to be happening. Yeah. Things are moving. Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, I mean, certainly um, I'm a big fan of um, Hillary Clinton and we have her invited as our um, keynote speaker to the conference. Uh, we haven't had a no yet, so well, I believe that's, that's start, yeah. I believe that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, but she herself is saying that the um, you know one of her key messages is the unfinished business of the twenty first century is the empowerment of of women. Wow. Um, so there is a, a groundswell out there. I uh, feel very strongly that um, it needs to engage everybody. This is about men and women be because where women are empowered um, in different societies, you have you have an educated. There's more stability, so it's important for everybody that this 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 happens. Yes. Um, and I were was actually spoke to Martin Nutton and asked him about coming along to the conference as mm -hmm. well because. Um, it's very important that we practice what we preach. So if we're saying mm -hmm. diversity gets the best solutions, then we need to have di uh, diversity in trying to find a solution to why women aren't in those leadership positions. So that would be very um, important to women in business to have that inclusive uh, discussion. I love your diversity. And it's often said, and I think it's maybe true, more women in politics, more women as generals, uh, fewer political home passes and fewer wars, maybe. Uh -huh. Or maybe that's just a fairy tale in my head. I don't know. I mean, I think, um, I, I think the best blend and mix is, I mean, men and women working yeah. t together and that gives you balance. That's not to say that, um, you know, there, there's bad women and there's bad men and there's good women and there's good, good men. men. And, you know, I think, um, but, you know, the best, uh, Partnership, I think, is, is, is the man and woman working, working together. I'll buy that. <laughs> Go well. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.